Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we have a chance to check kit from Edward. As you can see it's 48 scale plastic as it's written here and it copies AVIA B534 uh, series 3. So uh, this is a, aircraft is quite famous I would say and just recently we saw 72nd scale release nevertheless this 48 scale kit was available before the 72nd and now we have chance again to buy it and assemble it. As you can see it comes as a profi pack. Now the box is not that huge because aircraft is also quite small so here you can see comparison with my hand. Um, this edition includes four marking options which are shown here and on the other side we have some information about the kit that there are plastic parts, photo etched accessories and painting mask. Now this is a quite typical set uh, of bonuses for a profit pack. So this is a top opening box. Inside we find plastic sprues. Uh, note that all plastic sprues are packed into one plastic bag and the transparent is uh, carefully packed into the separate ziplock bag. As you can see there are a lot of space inside so I doubt that there will be some damages even during rough shipment. So don't worry. Uh, let's start from the transparent sprue because it's on the top of course. So here we have uh, canopy parts. As you can see molding quality is quite nice and we have uh, canopy parts for several um, versions of the aircraft. Nevertheless for the third series we will need only this part because it had an open cockpit so nothing else. Of course you will be able to mask it because masks are included uh, because it's a typical profi pack so no worries here too. Now we can check uh, grey plastic sprues as you can see they are packed all together I guess there are three of them so it will be interesting to see the parts division actually there are four of them. So first one is a frame with fuselage halves. Here you can see them. Uh, of course parts division is quite typical so we have left and right half. Uh, as you can see recess panel lines are present here. Note the tail segment is designed as a separate element and inside there is almost nothing because cockpit will be assembled separately so no worries it will be easy to assemble it. And note the top cooling part is molded as a separate one piece part, so you won't have seams in this area, it will be smooth, as it should be. Next we have plastic sprue with wing parts. Here uh, it's typical for all biplanes, I would say, wings are molded as a one piece parts. We have one one piece top part and also two for the bottom wing. Also here we have a cockpit part some parts for the tail segment and wheels, landing gear wheels which are molded as a one piece parts. Next we have plastic sprue, just give me a second. With all minor elements for the aircraft. Uh, here we can find two types of the propeller. Uh, also we can find the cockpit walls, here they are. Uh, some parts for the air intake. And here you can see, for example, pilot seat, which is designed as a one-piece part. And of course here are uh, wing struts, which are molded as one-piece parts. And after some careful separation, you can get an uh, excellent part for your aircraft. And last but not the least is a sprue with some with those extra parts. I would say that um, some of them won't be used like those for example skis, but they can be a nice addition to use spare parts. As you can see molding quality is on the same level, so no problems, no flash, no any other possible uh, molding damage. Next we have small assembly manual, which is mold, not molded, which is designed in form of this small brochure. We have short history note on the first page, then we have um, parts map, and then assembly process starts. There is a rigging guide, masks application guide and also the marking guide for four marking options and of course the stenciling guide on the last page. Next we have a small PE fret which is pre-painted so it includes some parts for the cockpit 
Oh, here you can see it. I'll zoom a camera for you so that you can see it closer. So as you can see we have here a typical dashboard, belts, even the meshes for the air intake. So your model should be quite detailed out of the box. And of course we have uh, painting masks as I said. You saw in assembly manual that those will be used not only for the transparent parts like canopy, but also for the wheels. Here you can see them. So that's a typical sticker sheet. Uh, so no worries, it's a what's a usual product for the door. And this last plastic bag is dedicated to the decal sheet. I guess it's also printed in Edward because it's a profi pack. Give me a second. Here it is. So as you can see the printing quality is quite nice. We have some stencils included. We have all necessary symbols placed here and with some let's say careful application you can get an excellent result. I think application won't be a problem because usually Edward decals are easy to place on the model and to apply them on the model. So that's all for the video review. As usual I will invite you to check full review article on our website where you will find detailed photos and text in English and Russian. Of course if you like this video don't forget to press the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And another point is that we have a link to our Facebook group in video description below, so don't forget to visit it and you will find there all fresh news, videos, photos and articles. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video review as usual.